All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the 441st day making Songbringer. Uh, today, I'm I finally finally have settled on how to look for the final boss here. So he's gone through so many iterations. Lord, Lord! Yesterday, I spent the entire day drawing him one way, and I changed my mind completely. I was like, he's gonna he's got to look cooler. And then I changed my mind and redid all of his art last night. And today I finally settled on him. I'm like, yes, this is it. This is how he's going to look. So I'm ready to start animating him. What's up, Teak? What's up, Jonah? Jonah, did you get my did you get my my thoughts and everything? On your feedback form? I sent you a stream of thoughts. My my thoughts while playing your game. <laughs> the entire exactly what my thoughts were, all of them. <laughs> Ready to do this. You did, right on. Nice. I hope they were helpful. How's it going, man? How's the how's the dissertation? Sweet. All right, so let's get to drawing this guy all cool and stuff. So he's standing to the side a little bit and breathing. So his arm's going to go back a little bit while he... And his shoulders are going to go back and up. And when he exhales, his head's going to go down a little tiny bit. His tongue's going to go in and out. So how's the dissertation going? Nice. You did, you did A star for hex maps? Sweet T. Is that um is that for Swarmonian Explorer or for the new one? Yeah, A Star is great, isn't it? It's pretty easy a pretty easy algorithm to implement, actually. You're still writing a report. Ah uh, refactoring code. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the most important part? What's the most important part of the report? Is it like your dissertation or is it the the report, the written report, or is it like the materials accompanying the written report? Is there like a breakdown on how much each factors into your grade or whatever? It's the new one. Ah, oh, cool. Sweet. Sweet. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Okay, so there's going to be two, Five frames, and you five total frames in here. I guess I can let go of all this other art. I can get rid of the, all these frames and stuff I didn't you didn't really use here. Shit, this is all checked in to get, so fuck it. Get rid of the stuff I don't need. I don't need any of these other frames. This is how he looks. This is how he's gonna be. Gotta animate him like this. I'm happy with this. I'm really happy with how, how this art turned out. I think this is a simple ass document, completely simple, except for that and that. Those need to be two layers. I think they need to be two layers. Shit, let's check that. If I merge these together, will it actually look good? Fuck no. All right, cool. That's got to stay separate. This is the divide. This is the add. Cl 
Clock, what's up? Clock. Oh, it's the method and results. Basically how I went about making the game and the AI. Oh, so okay, so your so your code does really matter. Wow. Okay, so five frames. It's frame one. Frame two is his shoulder's gonna go up a tiny bit. His head's gonna go up on the second frame. So we're gonna go shoulders first. I'm gonna turn off all these divs at first. Okay. In fact, oh man, these should these are gonna need to be moved based on the frames. We might as well group all these layers. Take off the propagate frame one. How's it going? It's going really good, clock. Oh, hell yeah. I'm working on the final boss of the game. It's been through several iterations of this guy's art. Several, man. Like, here's just today's iterations. Um, yesterday's iterations. Let's go to yesterday's iterations because they kind of show more. There's yesterday's iteration. So this is how I wanted him to kind of look at first. He had these big old horns. And I was like, maybe you should have some gargoyle wings. And I was like, nah, maybe you should kind of look like this with the helmet and the glowing swords. And I was also, before that, I was like, maybe you should look like he has a snake on his head. But then it all looked really weird. He looked like a freaking he was getting, being eaten by a, a, a mole or something. Anyways, finally I settled on this art. And I'm really glad that I finally settled. So it's time to animate him. Yeah, you should play Teeks for uh, Teeks. You should play Jonah's game. It's cool. You did your first proper song. Thanks, Clock. Along the roads, I'm playing it. I'm assuming this is not copyrighted music. I'm just gonna play it. Okay, so he's, I need to put this in a group. This is like frame one. Okay, I'm turning off add. No, I keep those on actually. Nah, I'll keep them all off at first and I'll just add them all at the end. Okay, duplicate this group now. Shoulders are going to go up. It's not playing the song. Let me try to open it on here. I was getting hot in here these days. It's when I start streaming every time. I'm like, damn, it's hot. Earlier I was I was cold. Now I'm hot. What's with my body? What why? Along the roads. Come on, play this time. I got it, I got it. Double time.
totally got an idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, actually cut these layers apart before I animate it! This will make it so much faster! Yeah, Fruity Loops is great. That's the first DAW I ever use. Sorry, I'm kind of like shouting. <laughs> okay. Nice work, man. Nice. You're welcome. All right, put this on a layer. Put this on a layer. This spot's gonna be the same size as rock? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Look, this is how big he is. Freaking huge! Come back. He's got to be big and he's even gonna have a, a version of himself. That's even bigger So this is just this is like half-sized At this point he's only in it. He's in his small mode This is the tiny boss Eat the cactus juice cause we're gonna die. Oh, we died cuz we landed right on us. Oh <laughs> That's tons of hit points, almost as if. Uh. All right, cool. I got three different layers here, ready to animate. So much easier. Okay, so I can copy this again. I should create like a basically a base copy of this all. Actually, I should get kind of get rid of group. Well, I'll keep group one. It's kind of like the original. But then I can make a group one copy. This is, I'll just call this one zero. Make that visible. Okay, and we got one. Frame one. Okay, so the shoulders go up, which means all that goes up. This is no longer visible. You call that a boss? <laughs> uh. Okay, so his cape is gonna also do some cool stuff. Like, okay, so this might be actually more like eight frames. No, I don't want it to be that many frames just for breathing. One up, I can do one up and one down. Well, that's gonna do. Yeah, I could probably do. Well, uh, I'm gonna do. I wanna do two frames up, two frames down. 
It'll be some more work, but I think this is going to be worth it to draw some really dope art for this guy. Okay, so his arms are going to start going out a little bit too when he breathes in. And I'll save the cape moving for last. Okay, so frame one, I want his tongue to be all the way, or frame zero, I want his tongue to be in more. And let's do a little bit of extra brightness here. Yeah, just something to slightly change that his head a little bit. All right, next frame. This one is going to be all the way breathe. This is all the way in it to his inhale. His inhalation is maxed out. So much easier to animate than the last guy I drew yesterday. God damn. The Golden Axe boss? What's he look like? I forgot. I didn't just draw the Golden Axe boss today. Are there bigger bosses too? Or bigger towers? Oh, bigger towers in the game. Golden Axe, the final showdown. The last boss. Let's see what does he look like. Golden eggs, I forgot about golden eggs. Oh, yeah, he kind of does look like that. Gosh. Bro, sweet. Go, 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 Nowhere is safe. Wah, wah, wah. Fuck. Gush. Drag it. Oh, dude, he just throws everything he's got at you all the time. I love boss battles.
Golden Axe is definitely... So this is, is there, there's another phase to this boss battle? Let's see. Oh, he looks like he's got lightning, or either that or... No, this is your magic, I think, when you call down lightning. Let's see that part. Lightning is your magic, I think, right? No, that's his magic. Oh, he's also got some lightning. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, you're dead! The axe goes into him. I didn't know. I forgot about that. Gosh. Thank you, Gallant One! Prosper and stuff. Cool. Boss battles. Love them! Gen generic save the woman scene, right? My favorite, my favorite generic save the woman scene is from uh, Solstice. Freaking love Solstice. Have you seen the Solstice speed run in five minutes? It's so freaking awesome. Oh, it's twelve minutes or seven. It is five minutes. Look at dude. If anybody, if anybody has not watched this, this is like a must watch right here. Yeah, it's tool assisted though. But anyways, he does complete the game in five minutes. One of the hardest games ever made. 475, that was really close to what I got too. Y'all gotta see, this is like, this is required watching. You have to watch this. So this is a tool assisted. I wonder what that actually does. Let's try the other videos. Here's 100% in 12 minutes. No cheating. That's cool. Freaking, this is one of my favorite games ever. I love Solstice. Okay. Enough procrastinating. This movie recording is in Oh, yeah, yeah. To overcome human limitations, such as skill. <laughs> yeah slow down and save states I think he does use slow down there that must be what it is So the sword is gonna get a little change ed. Let's do that much changing. One, two, three. Do this too. No. 
never mind. Never mind. Okay. This arm. Out. One more. Oh yeah, his knees should move a little bit too. So he's, here he's pretty straight, straight kneed. Here, let's move his knees out and then out a little bit more here. Okay, you can only go out one pixel there. It looks weird if I go any more. One pixel there. I guess you can go, you can like. Move basically everything. Down a pixel, there. Hey, whoa, what the hell? Whoa! Down a pixel there. The NC, yeah, totally, right? Fixing up the oops. So many layers. How does one keep track of so many layers? <laughs> yes. Oh, he's got he's got the brack dance going on. Totally reminds me of Brack. Yeah, give me some tuba. I think this little patch on his arm shouldn't shouldn't move. Right there, make it look a little more natural. Boop 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 boop. Oh yeah, get down, man, get down. Drum and bass, yeah, I love it. Oh, I go to dance clubs all the time, get my ass down.
My name is Metatron. I'll kick your ass because I'm so big. But I'll get you my tongue with my sword with my glowing thing. You'll never be the same because I'm going to kick your ass. My name is Metatron. 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 Totally, dude. You get to see this guy at a dance club right now. Yeah, all I need now is the cape moving and stuff. This is getting awesome. Getting all pumped up. <laughs> I'm thirsty too, shit. Some water. Easter egg confirmed. All the bosses be for a dance off. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think Metatron would win though. All right, a couple more frames, get this cloak moving and stuff too, and it'll look really good, I think. Actually, he's got a lot. Maybe he just needs three. Maybe a fourth, I don't know. If I can get his cloak moving. Uh, this is pretty good so far, I'm gonna check this in. Ugh. Ugh, code. Ugh, what the? Okay, let's see what a fourth frame would look like. All right, so this one, his head's going to go down, his, his tongue's going to go in more, right? Yeah. Down. What? What? This propagate frame one thing will get you every time. Okay, we're back. We're back. Oh yeah, he's got one more pixel there on his tongue.
Okay, shoulders down. Rotate the sword in a bit. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. If the cape were moving in the wind a little bit, they would really look good. Maybe his knees are kind of doing a funny little thing where he just kind of moves in inward a little bit too much there. Let's try and make that effect a little bit more subtle. It's that one right there, I think. Yeah, that one. Okay, so, oh, like that pixel doesn't even need to be there, right? <sighs> too many layers. Always too many layers, especially when you're animating. Looks a little better. Yeah. 
Hell yeah. All right, let's see this animated in the game. See if we're on track here. Render, Metatron Idol. Render the video. Export the frames. Put it in my sprite sheet. Compile the sprite sheet. What's up, Coat? Do you have any online resources on how to learn animate 2D sprite attacks? Yes. Yes. Um, let me give you one. Let me give you one. Here's where I started. I started by learning how to make anim animations walk, right? So let's look up 2D pixel art walking animation. I think this is how I started when I, when I started learning. And it really helped me here to just learn how things walk, especially in like four frames. Here it is. This is totally the one. This is a great little tutorial right here. He starts with a two frame animation. Just one, two, one, two, one, two. See this? One, two, one, two, one, two. It's super simple, but the guy's walking. You're doing an animation, right? This is super easy to make. You can totally make this in quick, right? It gives you some tips and stuff. And then he goes on to like four frames. It starts looking better. And then it gets to like six and eight and stuff. And this is a great tutorial. Um, but atta see, attacks are kind of the same thing. Once you learn how to make somebody walk, um, attacks are just one more step along that path. It's really not that difficult. Why does it do this sometimes? It tells me the f what I searched for, not the freaking link I'm on. Oh, God, I did it again. Ugh. I think it's because I'm using a graphics tablet. Oh, you've seen that one before? Oh, have you done it before? I highly recommend doing that. That's that's kind of how I basically learned to animate. Oh, another tip. Another tip I would have is to look at people's animations that you really like. So, like, go find some artists that you like, their animations, and try and find some of their GIFs. And just open up their GIF inside Photoshop or some other kind of animation software so you can see each frame along the way. And you can really get a good... If you find some some GIF animation you really love, study it. You know every every one of them you find even study them all. Bring them all into your art software and see what they look like frame by frame, so you can get a good idea of how they do animations. Another tip I have is to start watching cartoons. You're not really an artist. I used to think that too. Okay, export that. Did I compile it. Oh, he's walking through the anime. Oh, too slow. Yeah, he's so cool. Seen him animated though. How to create an animated pixel art sprite. Nice. Cool. Yeah, this is great. This is like an all-in-one tutorial, pixel art and animation. So important. Watch hentai. Here to hear first, people. What's up, Ray Bro? So hentai is he really good? Um, he's a really good art uh, animator or something. Thank you, Coat. Thank you, Ray Bro. Hentai, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, trolled! I got trolled! Trolled me. Okay, so this animation is looking good. Okay, I want his cape to move as well. I want to check this in so far. Did I do that? Oh yeah, 
So git add all these. Git commit. All right. Yeah, so cloak moving now. And then we'll add the glow back and it'll look even better. Okay, so there's a lot of different frames here. The cloak's gonna move on a different, so this is zero. Let's close group one, this is the original. Let's just call that a rig. Okay, so frame, frame zero is there, that's four. Zero. Wait, is this? Did I skip zero on the way back? Yeah, but it looks okay. What if we added a frame zero here, though? Oh, no, that is frame zero. Oh, never mind. Jeez, this is tough to tell. <laughs> I know, damn it. Damn it. Uh, huh. All right, so I guess it would help if I, nah, I don't want to close all these layers. Zero, okay, this is, that one's three, this one's zero, this one, this is one, this one's two, this one is one, we want to duplicate this and make this, I don't know, one, one. And get rid of one. And this one, we want a copy of zero. Call that one zero, zero. Okay, now it's all properly set up for moving the cape. <laughs> Cartoon burby boobs are natural. <laughs> They're art. They're art, just like, just like the Mona Lisa. Okay, so if it's flapping in the wind a little bit, I guess it would go down straighter a little bit. In fact, if there's this many frames, it would be best for it to go two down and, and two up. Okay. So this frame, well this frame three is kind of like frame, should be down here at the bottom. This would be like frame negative one. Come on. So frame zero, the cloak. Rotate it about five degrees.
Dude, frame three or whatever. Or negative one. It's going to rotate about 10 degrees inward. Gotta make sure it's at the right height though. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so the, the trick to this whole cape is to make it look really good is going to make it kind of flick at the end. So it's like moving actually how a cape would. It kind of snaps like a whip almost. So it's down here. Roll back down. So it's going to flick right here in this frame. Is this where he's highest? Yeah, totally. The, this is the extent of his movement. So he's going to it's going to flick here and then like float back down so it kind of loops really well. Gotta make sure this is not too much though. Or else it'll look kind of funky. Hey, what the what the? What the what the? Oh. Yeah, I think that's too much. Too much. Still too much. Still too much.
Hmm, that's a foul right there. Oh, uh, that's too much. Okay. I think it's taking away a little too much to take away all of those pixels. All right, now in these special ones here, this is where it kind of is going to have a fold like that, and then a little less fold here. Okay, I got to make this fold look better. More foldy. This looks these look way more foldy. Okay, a little too much, a little too much fold. Oh, and it can definitely continue upward a little too. So if it flicks there and then kind of can billow, billow a little. Some billow here too. That looks weird. Oops. Too much. Ah. God, I hate I hate it when you press Control Z and it put takes you off the frame you were on. God, that's one thing you really did wrong with Photoshop. Every time you press Control Z, you're like undo, and it just undoes a little too much. You're like, damn it, I just got that set up. Okay, so this one is you want to draw on that frame.
in this frame, this little lump moves downward. Damn it. Well, this part ain't easy, but hopefully it'll be really worth it. Damn. Still doesn't look like something billowing. What am I missing here? I got... Maybe too much lump there. A little too much. Um, yeah, there. Thanks, Mac McDev. The low lights on his armor. Yeah, those little things. Sweet, I'm glad. He looks a lot better with his glow on, too. So his glow looks like... Like that. So this is kind of how he, he's meant to look, right? I'm just animating him right now, so I kind of got to turn off all these frames. But yeah, in a second, I'll, I'll turn these all back on and export it in the game, and it'll look pretty good, hopefully. Actually, I can keep that frame. Well, no, I need to animate. All right. Almost done. I got to get this cape just billowing a little bit better, and I think this is ready.
Not bad. But I think there's a little too much bounce somewhere here. Maybe it needs to come down one pixel there. No to the last one. Okay, I think that's good enough. I can always refine this another time. Another time. This is pretty good for a first draft. All right, so let's put the glow back on. Let's get... Uh, we can commit it after this. Okay, these need to be recreated. J. Shit. <laughs> there we Well, I guess I can make his glow kind of like hit a peak as well. So this could be 100 here, 90, 80, 70. Here we're at 80. All right, so this one I got to redo number one. 
got it. Okay, here, control, copy merged, paste, blur, divide. And this one, double divide is kind of cool too. Cool, maybe one of those layers I'll do double divide. I like this uh, combination of divide and add. All right, so you're 70, 80, this one's 90. This one's a hundred. So if I can do it faster this time. I did the last time. Cool. Uh, hell yeah, I did that faster that time. Oops. Oops, damn it. <laughs> if I hurry for speed, I ignored the very important thing. Okay, so this next one's gonna be 90 again. Oh, it's 1-1, one, one. this one might actually, oh, it's close, but no cigar. I think zero, zero would be the same. Okay, so, dip, 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 dip. and dip. yes. Blur. What? Oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Control V. All right, so this one's 90. And this one might work already. Yes, it does. And this one's gonna be 80. All right, here's the finished animation. Let's see it. Something, his eyes bounce there somewhere. Why is his eyes bouncing? Oh, it's there. Boom, boom. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. 
I guess when he gets that super glow right there and this little linear dodge, I think he needs a little, just a tiny bit less here. And here. It's a little better. It's almost like this should be one less pixel here. Yeah, oh, that definitely helped. Cool. All right, I think he's done. One animation for this guy is finished. Wow, I feel so accomplished. Let's render this out, see how it looks. What will be next? The landing animation. Also, when he does his taking off animation. faster. Idle, visible, delay, point one. Kind of Japanese there. It's hard to tell, but I think that's too slow still. Tad bit, maybe like one six one eight. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, it slowed him down. Did it? Yeah, it did. He got frozen. He might have got frozen by his own dragons. Yeah, it's so cool seeing him like that, all moving and animated and alive. Yeah, so um, the next thing I'll work on, this is going to be it for today's stream, uh, but the next thing I'm going to work on later tonight and stuff after I get a snack and take a break is uh, his taking off and landing animation. So when he lands on the ground, I want that to look super sweet. Great animation there, and then also when he takes off from the from the ground into the sky, he really needs to look a lot better. Because right now he just looks like he's just whoop, like a cartoon whistle. Um, so that that animation being better will really help this. And then the last thing would be um, his melee animation, his death animation, and his hurt animations. So this could take a whole other day of just animating, but. It's gonna be pretty cool. This is gonna be Metatron. Oh, he's also got one other, one other animation where he, um, he has like a spell ability type thing. So, lots of animations left to do. Loving it though. This guy's turning out really good. I like how he looks now. A lot better than yesterday. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate your all your support, and uh, see you next time.